Today, we're talking about a topic that I hope lights a fire under you, how to reignite your passion for work. Because let's be honest, just going through the motions and getting by isn't what you were meant to do. You were meant to rock this world and make your mark. I Hire connects you to industry-specific jobs in over 57 talent communities. Find your niche today on I Hire. As the great American writer Maya Angelou once said, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion and some compassion, some humor and some style. Maya's words remind us that our work should be a source of joy and fulfillment and purpose. But let's face it, sometimes work feels more like a chore or maybe even a prison sentence. I'm not even supposed to be here today. That's why today I'll share three action items that can help you reignite your passion and remind you why you started down this career path in the first place. When you are feeling burned out and disengaged, it's super easy to feel like you're just going through the motions. That's why the first step to reigniting your passion for work is to challenge yourself. And this means pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and trying new things. Maybe you can volunteer for a new project or a task you've never done before at work. Stop I volunteer as tribute. Or taking a class can be a real challenge. You can find thousands of free and low-cost online classes that I hire on just about any topic. And it doesn't even have to be a class about your current job. It can be a class that can help you with a new hobby, like photography or interior design. When you challenge yourself, it can help you feel renewed with this new sense of excitement and it can really help to reignite your passion for work. The second thing you need to do is to find your tribe. Your tribe is that group of people who share your values, who inspire you and push you to be your better self. When you find your tribe, you'll have a support system that helps you stay motivated and engaged in your work. This means connecting with people who are doing what you do or people that have similar interests as you. You can find your tribe by joining professional organizations. You can attend networking events or attend a conference. I just returned from a conference and it's amazing what shaking up your day and getting away from your desk and into another setting can do for you. You get to talk to people in your industry, you get to compare notes, and a lot of times you find out they're facing the same problems that you face on a daily basis. And then you can start talking about solutions. When you find your tribe, you feel less alone and more connected to your work. My third recommendation is to embrace failure. Failure, failure. The fear of failure can hold us back and keep us from taking risks in our career. But the truth is, failure is just a path and a part of the road to success. When you embrace failure, you are able to learn from your mistakes and grow professionally. When you're willing to take risks and try new things, you'll be able to discover your strengths and your passions, and you will feel more engaged and fulfilled. As Maya said, it's our mission not just to survive, but to thrive. 